Hey, okay, so I want to go over like uh, just a concept of using a Gutenberg template, right? So here's kind of a mock-up of like a, let, let's just pretend it's like a news article or something where there's fixed content at the top, some freeform content, which would be like, you know, freeform Gutenberg blocks, and then maybe some fixed content at the bottom. So here's kind of my mock-up. We have like an article title, um, uh, article brief, like, uh, you know, a short description or an excerpt or whatever the author name and email and then we have the so like these blocks would be fixed in my head and then we have this freeform content which would just be the article content where you can add paragraphs and images and galleries and you know just normal freeform content and then below that we'd have another set of fixed blocks like like a featured call to action let's pretend and the and then a more detailed author like bio box and these these two blocks would be fixed below the content these three blocks would be fixed above the content. And then this would be kind of like a flex field where you can add various Gutenberg blocks. Seems reasonable. Uh, according to the Gutenberg docs, it seems doable. So let me show you the code I used, basically taken from uh, the Gutenberg documentation um, and then altered just a little bit. Um, so I'm registering a custom post type, just a book type, just for the sake of following their code. So register a book type, and then you can declare a template. So the template, uh, I'm going to add an article description. So that's like the article brief or whatever, like I had uh, the author name, author email. And then this kind of flex field here, which is going to be a, a container block, which allows you to nest additional blocks inside. So by default, I'm going to have just an image and a paragraph. Uh, and the thought from my understanding is that this container block, this core columns block, uh, would be flexible to add whatever other input you want into it. Um, my configuration might be wrong. I might be able to tweak this a little bit, but uh, that's my understanding from reading the docs is that this container component or container block should allow flexible input inside. And then I have these other fixed ones, so call to action, action link, author name, and bio. And then we apply this template lock all. So that locks all these blocks at this level in place. So you can't, you can't move the order, right? So we have the same order that we described, fixed, 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 and fixed. Then inside of this block, we'd have flexible content. So this definition appears to allow that. So let's go look at what happens here. So let me open up Gutenberg. So we're gonna add a new book. I'll just start fresh so you can see. So add a new book. So sweet, we have the title, which is, you know, the post type title. So we'll call it like book one or whatever, article, whatever we want to call it. Then I can add my article description. It's a fixed block. So as you can see, I don't have the reorder controls, which is as expected based on how I defined it. I do get these failed updates, which I'm not sure why. Author name, Jason author email, you know, so I can fill in these stuff or we can have it be auto populated based on the author or whatever. Uh, um, yes. And then, and then we get to this free form content field. So here I have like an image and an inner paragraph. Um, this is kind of funky cause it's showing us two columns. It looks like it has support for one column, but I couldn't figure out how to configure it that way. Um, so now I have like an image I could, I can add an image. Um, and then I can add, you know, my content, whatever. Um, and then I was expecting, since I didn't lock this component, I was expecting I should be able to add more like freeform content here. doesn't look like I can really do that. Um, I don't have controls to add anything. I can convert to reusable block. Um, and that's about it. I can show advanced settings. So I can't even add more paragraphs. Um, I can type and that's it, right? I can't even add another image in here or anything like that. So, uh, might be a configuration issue on my end, but can't figure out how to do that. Then I have my, you know, below the freeform content so I can, you know, call to action. And then like I can add a button like, you know, whatever based on my action button. Cool. Then I have my author name, uh, and my author bio that I can fill out here if I wanted to. Now here's where things get really fun. Um, so if I start typing stuff in here, one thing I noticed, yeah, so look at this. I, I type a little bit and then I can click this 
button and like this weird stuff starts showing up. I don't even know like how I stumbled across it. But, like stuff just starts showing up and I can't remove it. Like there's no way to delete these things now. I, I can click delete. I can, you know, whatever. I can't delete this content now, um, which is tripping me up. Like same thing, I can do it. I can do it anywhere. Like I can accidentally click on this white space, and these blocks appear out of nowhere, and there's no way to remove them or do anything with them. It's like super trippy. Um, yeah, so it's just like this big mess. I get failed updates. Um, I could publish it, hopefully just fine, but it won't like auto save. So now it's published. Um, yeah, so it's super trippy. Um, really just awkward experience um yeah it i tried gutenberg out like six months ago and it was felt way smoother than it feels right now 